Ready? Here. It <laughs> <laughs> looks cool. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, hi, Mum. Oh, you too. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's bedtime, little buddy. No, oh, I'll do it. You stay here. Yeah, that's fine, Mum. Well, you need to get ready for bed yourselves. It's early. Oh, yes. It is. Okay, hey, um, I'm gonna head back into the bar, uh, see if everything's okay, uh, if you need the lounge. Pardon? Well, if you want to watch some TV. But why would you need the lounge? I can't sleep on the floor. But why would you when there's a perfectly good bedroom right through there? <laughs> Mum, please. But I just saw you. We're cuddling together like a pair of honey. Okay, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye. Hmm? Okay. <sighs> he still won't oh, sleep with you. Look, it's going to take some time, Mum. Okay, so just drop it, please. Hmm? I'm interrupting. What's up? I need to talk rosters. Do you have a minute? I've got 45 seconds, then I'm live. Oh. It's fine. How are you so blasé about this? It's just TV. Live TV? With 100,000 people watching, I'd be wetting myself. Brave or stupid, right? Particularly today. Why? I am about to reveal my love for Harper to the world. Oh. Is it a special occasion? It's almost Valentine's Day, and I'm madly in love. That's about it. Have you told Harper? It wouldn't be much of a surprise then, would it? She's not a massive fan of surprises. Yes, but this is romance. She's not a massive fan of that either. You could just give us some chocolates. Right, you know what they say. Go big. Or go home alone. Dawn, you ray of sunshine. Happy almost Valentine's Day to you too. A shout out to a special someone. You want me to reveal my true love to the nation live on air? Her name is Dr. Harper Whitley, and yes, Dawn, she has stolen my heart. How would I describe her? She... Okay, I won't be long. Take your time, love. You know, I've been thinking, once you two rediscover your connubial bliss... Whatever that is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna find somewhere else to live. You don't need me interrupting your special cuddles. You're always welcome here, Mum. <laughs> Just raising it, that's all. Have a lovely afternoon. I always forget my... <gasps> oh, oh! What is going on? Oh, God. oh, it's just a little accident. What? Oh, it's such bad timing with Vinny sleeping there. Oh. Mum. Oh, get the dehumidifier out. It'll, it'll take a few days to dry, though, so you might have to think of some other sleeping arrangements until then. You are unbelievable. You'll thank me for it in the morning. Off you, Pop. Is Vinny still at work? Yeah, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. You need to spend more time together. I'm trying. <sighs> Not hard enough. What's this? I bought you some makeup. You don't wear nearly enough. For what? It's the law of the jungle, darling. You need to lure him in. He's my husband. Yes, and you need to remind him why he chose you. We chose each other. Mm. And he stuck with his choice. Mum. So now you need to reward him for it. This is not 1950. And clothes, all those sacks you wear, you push them to the back of the wardrobe and start showing off that lovely trim figure of yours. Where are you going? I need a drink. Hey, what are you doing here? Escaping, Mum. Don't ask. How's things? Ah, uh, well, Frank's off sick. No replacements? He? And who's replacing you? Another late night, yeah? I, I, I said I'd make time and I will. Don't stress, OK? Vinny. Hey, um... What are you doing? A shift with my husband. He claims he can pour the perfect beer, but he can't even open a champagne bottle without spraying it around like he's on the F1. A week in coat. Shush. I'm spending tonight with my husband, whether he likes it or not. How are you doing the shift? Yeah, why not? Cool. What can I get you to? 